and it took more than five decades for the United States and Cuba to set aside hostilities and restore diplomatic ties. President Obama played a crucial role in this major development. But the United States opened its embassy in Havana in August of 2015 and less than a year later the US diplomatic staff in Havana, the same one, started hearing strange sounds. At least 22 of them have been affected, with some of them suffering loss of hearing. Now Vian brings to you a recording from Cuba associated with the attacks that started the last year. Listen in. At least 22 American diplomatic staff in Havana hurt. The first clues are emerging. The recording gives us the first tangible sense of what it was like for these American government workers in Havana who were hearing these unexplained sounds in their residences and later developed physical symptoms. And there's a similarity in what the eyewitnesses have revealed. Americans who heard these sounds in Havana have described slightly different sounds and even in some of the recordings that the AP has reviewed there are slight variations. However, this high-pitched cricket sound seems to appear in all of them. Investigators are trying to piece together the evidence to solve these mysterious attacks. The U.S. Embassy in Havana has played these recordings for Americans who are working there so they know what to listen to. These recordings have also been reviewed by people who heard the sounds firsthand in Cuba, and they confirm that the recordings are generally consistent with what they heard. The mystery, though, remains far from solved. We still don't know what is causing the sound, and the recordings don't appear to have significantly furthered the investigation. Even with the recordings being analyzed, the U.S. government still says it has been unable to determine what is causing the sound. Experts, however, opine that the lethal audio is not likely to be audible. You won't be hearing it, but of course it is going into your system. It's like a, you know, acoustic hammer which is hitting you. You're just not able to hear it because its frequency is much higher. So there were some concerns to it, and if it is really, really high, it could create um, uh, some, you know, what we call as a bio effects. An elaborate investigation is underway. It's possible that what we're hearing on the recording is actually only part of the picture. Traditional recording devices are only able to pick up certain types of frequencies, such as the ones that the human ear can hear. It's possible there are additional frequencies, possibly those too low or too high to be picked up, that are also happening when these attacks occur. But the events have cast a shadow on U.S.-Cuba relations, with the U.S. recalling staff from its Havana embassy. Bureau Report, Vion.